Imagine a country smaller than California, about 146,000 square miles, cramming in 125 million people. That's more than Russia, a nation 40 times its size. Now, picture this. 80% of that land is steep, untamed mountains, leaving barely a silver for everyone to live on. Welcome to Japan, a place that defies geography with sheer human ingenuity. How do they pull it off? How do millions thrive where space is so scarce? Let's dive into this island puzzle and find out. First, let's set the stage. Japan's a string of islands, over 6,800 of them, though just four big ones matter most. Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu, and Shikoku. Together, they're a jagged mess of volcanoes and peaks. About 80% of the land is mountainous, too steep to build on or farm. That leaves a measly 27%, mostly coastal plains, for homes, roads, and rice fields. And it's not just the terrain. Earthquakes hit constantly, over 1,500 a year, thanks to Japan sitting on the ring of the fire. Tsunamis? They have reshaped the coastlines for centuries, so flat, safe land, it's gold here. Take Tokyo, the beating heart of Japan. It's home to 14 million in the city proper, 37 million if you count the metro area, more people than Australia, squeezed into an area smaller than Maine. That's a density of 6,000 people per square kilometer in the capital alone. Compare that to New York City's 1700, and you see the challenge. Japan's got a tiny canvas and nature's not making it easy. So how do you fit a massive population into a space that screams no room? Here's the first trick. They don't fight the land, they go up. In Tokyo metro area, skyscrapers aren't just offices. They're homes, malls, even train stations. Shinjuku's got towers so tall you need binoculars to spot the top, packed with apartments smaller than a parking space. But stacking's only half the story. Moving millions in tight quarters, that's where Japan's train game shines. Shinkansen, also known as bullet trains, hit 320 km per hour, linking cities like a bloodstream. Subways? There are veins. Tokyo's got 13 lines, 285 stations, and Shinjuku alone sees 3 million passengers every day. That's the new Zealand's population shuffling through one stop daily. Space gets personal too. Ever heard of capsule hotels? Picture a bed-sized pot, a TV, light, maybe a shelf, and that's all you get. Regular apartments are in much bigger. Some are 20 square meters, folding furniture and all. And it's not claustrophobia, it's efficiency. Japan's turned less is more into an art form. And it works. Crime is low, streets are clean, and rush hour is a ballet of chaos that somehow flows. But stacking people isn't enough. They've got to eat too. Flatlands scarce, so Japan makes more. Land reclamation is their ace. Think Kansai International Airport, a man-made island plopped in Osaka Bay. How? They dump concrete and dirt into the sea, layer by layer, until it's solid enough for jumbo jets. Tokyo's bay got Odiapa, shops and parks on reclaimed ground. Mountains? They don't waste those either. Traced farming turns slopes into staircases of rice paddies and tea fields. Water trickles down, crops grow up. Centuries old engineering feeding millions. Then there's the culture bit. Homes are tiny. About 300 square feet for a family is not rare. Futons roll up, tables fold down, even swalls slide open. Minimalism is baked in. Less stuff for more space. Even vending machine. 
There's about one for every 23 people, saving room by dishing out everything from snacks to socks. It's wild, where other countries sprawl, Japan squeezes. They've turned a cramped, shaky island chain into a global powerhouse. Japan's a masterclass in defying the odds. Mountains, quakes, and a population that could fill 15 New York cities. They flipped it into a system that hums. Skyscrapers pierce the sky, trains race like lightning, and every inch bends to human will. So, next time you're stuck in a crowd or cursing a small apartment, think, Japan's been solving that for centuries. They don't just feed millions, they make it look easy.